Hi guys, I've got an idea that I'd like to share with you. In fact, I'd like to give it to you as um, it's something that I don't have the facilities to develop myself. Um, but anybody that knows me will know that I've had over 30 years of designing and manufacturing special purpose uh, equipment and devices for industrial, scientific and medical applications. So uh, a lot of credible ideas over the years. But I've uh, sold my company uh, to the Americans a little while ago and I don't have any manufacturing facility now. So it's, yeah, it can be frustrating because I still get ideas of things uh, that I would uh, like to follow through on. And I, I've I will put some other ideas on YouTube which hopefully will inspire people to go off and do something with and maybe even make some money out of uh, heaven forbid. Um, what I want to talk about are, are um, keys, um, uh, particularly key for the car. Uh, how many times have you sort of driven somewhere, you get out of the car, you put your hat on, you put your gloves on, you put your scarf on or whatever and um, you're quite convinced you've locked the car but you've walked away from the car, you're a couple of hundred metres away and think, did I lock the car? And you've just got to go back and check it. Um, I do that fairly frequently and it's, I don't think it's an age thing, I think it's when you've got a, a million other things on your mind I know when I used to lock up the factory, I'd very often get in the car, I'm thinking about everything that's gone on during the day, start the car, I think, did I lock the door? And I've got to go back and, <laughs> and check it. Um, uh, what I propose is um, uh, an intelligent key fob. This is uh, our normal key for the car. It's uh, got an open and close button on it, uh, which is very convenient. Um, but what I propose is something like this. And uh, this is just a Photoshop markup of uh, a key. Uh, but what I would like is when I lock the door of the car, I would like the car to transmit a signal to the key to, uh, that actually gives a, an indication on the screen to say the car is locked. Um, and I would like the signal to come from the car rather than just a request by the key. So um, it shouldn't just be the action of pressing the button on the key that says the car is locked. It should be a signal that comes back from the car to uh, a receiver in the, uh, the key fob. Um, that actually gives the information. I was talking this idea over with Sophie and she said wouldn't it be a good idea if it also told you how long the car has been locked and this is particularly on this would be particularly useful to us um, uh, we spend uh, a lot of time uh, at Aberystwyth it's uh, an hour up the coast from here beautiful place uh, to be and, uh, I think we'll move there one day uh, we love to park along the front here and, uh, and, and, and go for a walk. We try and get uh, 10,000 steps in, uh, in, when we go out for a walk. Um, and the parking restriction in, in this place is four hours. Um, so uh, this sign shows uh, the bottom bits uh, in English, the top bits in Welsh. I'm, a, I'm an Englishman living in Wales, so that's, uh, that's what that's all about. But you see on the bottom bit there, it says the, the parking is four hours. And it would be very convenient to have a, a key that actually tells me how long the car has been locked. You could have an option to say how long the car has been stationary. Um, because uh, it, that may be more appropriate and if the information is fed from the car to the key I can't see any reason why that data couldn't be transmitted to the key that says you know the the car has been stationary for 10 minutes uh, and, and the car has been locked for 
whatever time it's being locked. So, um, you know, it, it, it could say the car's been locked for one hour, 15 minutes, uh, or the car's been stationary for one hour, 18 minutes, as you've done, bought your parking ticket or whatever from the machine. Anyway, that's the burden of the idea. Uh, I think the same uh, system could be used for um, uh, alarm systems. Again, going back to my days at the factory, I know uh, I could set the alarm system, uh, then set, you know, close the door, lock the doors on, and I could, you know, get home and think. Did I set the alarm? Because I've done it, you know, it's got this thing with uh, a million other things in my mind. Did I actually set the alarm? And if, if I could look at a key and it said, yes, the alarm was set at 10.35, whatever, or whatever time I've locked off, um, th that would be very convenient. Um, now, while we're at it, I, I love keys and locks and mechanisms. And I, got uh, hundreds of keys but all of these have the same problem uh, in as much as once I've locked uh, the door the key looks exactly the same um, there's nothing on it to say the door has been locked now I can't see why if you have a, a mortise lock uh, why you can't have a mechanism actually on the key uh, that when the key goes in it's turned uh, that mechanism moves the position of a band uh, around the shaft of the key possibly um, to actually say it's locked uh, and then when you put the key in and you open it then it resets that band to say the lock is open that's okay if you've only got one key for the lock because if you have two keys or multiple keys for a lock I could lock a door one night um, and that key says the lock is locked but if somebody else opens the door um, and I'm the last man out the next night uh, my key would still say it's locked whether I've locked the door or not so that, that idea probably only works uh, where there's a single key involved but I'm sure there must be applications where, uh, or a method of dealing with multiple keys, but purely on a mechanical basis, so that um, we don't have batteries in every key. Um, I could see a mechanism whereby um, uh, this um, uh, a biro where you press. I could uh, easily see a mechanism in a, a mortise key where uh, like, a, like a pen there's a, a set and reset and uh, that set and reset would obviously come from the lock and um, the indication would be on the key and I think uh, it's, it's not beyond the wit of man to come up with something for uh, a cylinder lock key in a, in a similar fashion. Um, I could dream up a mechanism uh, that uh, would allow an indicator on the key to show whether or not a lock had been open or closed. So it gets tricky when there's multiple keys involved and I, I haven't fully thought that one through. Um, but anybody who could design a lock could easily design the necessary mechanism to uh, convey the information whether, that the lock has been opened or closed to the key. Um, that, that's no big deal. It's, it's, it's just mechanics. Um, anyway, um, I hope that uh, sparks um, an idea with somebody. Um, and uh, hopefully somebody follows it up. I certainly think for the uh, the notion of using it with a car, I think that would be helpful. Maybe it already exists. It's the uh, 15th of March 2016 and uh, I couldn't find anything on the internet when I looked uh, for such thing, but I haven't done a, a patent search or anything like that. Um, 
Okay, I'm sorry I haven't done much on YouTube of late. I've been uh, busy doing other things. Um, got married, um, Sophie and I. Um, uh, we've been spending some time on our property development business and that's uh, hence half of the keys there. And that, that keeps us a, a, a little bit busy. Um, I haven't had the time to respond to the very many comments that I've had on YouTube. Thank you everybody for your positive comments and kind thoughts. I, I really do appreciate that, but say so I do apologize because I just don't have the time to respond to everybody. Um, I shall enjoy looking to see what comments um, I get on this video, but uh, forgive me uh, if, if I don't um, if I don't have the time to get back to, to everybody. But anyway, hopefully it'll be of interest for other people to, to read your comments as well. Uh, if you think it's a good idea, give it a thumbs up sign. Um, uh, okay, guys. Um, oh, I told you uh, I like to go up to Aberystwyth. I, I'll leave you with a few pictures of uh, Aberystwyth. I say it's a place that uh, I can see us moving to uh, probably fairly shortly. As, uh, it is a very, very pleasant town with um, uh, a, a nice town centre and beautiful walks uh, along the coast and the prom. Um, okay guys, uh, take care, thanks for watching, bye bye.